Hey folks, this is Mr. Hartzler. I want to talk to you about the law of sines. I've got a general triangle here, nothing in particular that's special about it. And I have A, B, and C, capital letters, as my angles. And I have lowercase letters A, B, and C for the side lengths associated. So C, side C, opposite of angle C. Angle A, opposite side A. And this green line right here, that is a perpendicular line to this bottom chunk here. So that represents my height of my triangle. And if you know anything about triangles, to find the area of it, we have base times height. And then we multiply by 1 half. So let's try and find out the height of our uh, triangle. That's the only part we really don't know. B is actually B from our diagram. So I have 1 half times b, but I need to find out what h is. I'm going to use trigonometric functions to tell me what h is. So let's use, uh, let's use angle a, and I want to sh find out what h is. So that's my opposite of this angle. Well, sine of angle a equals opposite over my hypotenuse for this, which is c. So h over c. And again, I want to solve for h, so I multiply both sides by c. So c times sine a equals h. And I'm going to substitute that in. So instead of h, this is c sine of a. That's how I find the area of my triangle. That's the nice thing now, is I don't need these parentheses exactly where they are. I can shuffle them around a little bit. So that's the same as 1 half BC sine A. And by a similar rule, if I just change up the angle I'm using, instead of using angle A, if I use angle B, I can change the order of these. And all of this switches around, so I also have my area equaling 1 half a, B, sine C, which is the same as 1 half, which one haven't I done? A, C, sine B. All of those statements are true, and that's the nice thing about that. I can use that now to find out the area of kind of a funky triangle. So let's do one. Let's say I have a, a triangle that looks something like this. I have A, let's put B up here, C down here. Let's call this 104 degrees. This side length is A, or sorry, 8, this one is 9. And now I need to find the area of it. So I'm looking for area. Well, I can use one of my formulas, and I know that the area equals, in this case, I want the angle that's here at C. So I want side A, B, don't forget your little one half, and it's sine of angle C. Plug in all the pieces you know, you know one half. What is side A? Well, that's opposite of angle A, that's eight. What's sine B? That's opposite angle B, so that's nine and then angle C is the 104. Type that into your handy dandy calculator. I have the TI-89 titanium and we hit sine 104, make sure it's in, um, in degrees. I must not be in degrees. Nope, that's, uh, that's good. 9.970. And then I multiply that by the 9 and by the 8. Times 9, times nine, 8, times 1 half, 34.931. That is the area. Uh, these were in centimeters. So this is centimeters squared.
That's finding area using the law of sines. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any more questions, please leave those in the comment section. Uh, again, this was just one example, but they work for all of them. And there's another part of the law of sines. This is to just find the area of it using that. Uh, and I'll have another video on that hopefully shortly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Mr. Hartzler for Instagram and Mr. Hartzler Math for Twitter. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have a great day.